Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, August 30th, 2024, and this is our daily bread. The title is Walking by the Spirit. It's from Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 26, and the key verse is 16. It says, So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Daily Bread First, overcome the flesh by walking in the Spirit. Paul teaches that the only way to overcome selfish desires is by living according to the Spirit. For college students, this means understanding that academic stress, social pressures, and personal struggles can lead to self-centered actions or negative emotions. When you choose to walk by the Spirit, you can rise above these temptations. Make it a habit to seek God's presence daily through praying and reading the Bible. Before making decisions, take a moment to pray for the Holy Spirit's guidance. This will help you rely more on the Spirit's leading in your life. Let's invite the Holy Spirit into our daily lives today and see how it transforms our decisions and actions. Second, the fruit of the Spirit as markers of a transformed life. Living by the Spirit transforms us from the inside out, shaping us to reflect God's character. The qualities that emerge love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control aren't just moral virtues. They are evidence of the Spirit's work within us. Each evening, take a moment to reflect on your day. Were there times you could have shown more of these qualities? Set daily goals to practice one of these fruits in your life. You might even choose one to focus on each week or month when we live by the fruits of the Spirit, we will experience how it brings positive change to our lives and to those around us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of your Spirit. Teach me to walk by the Spirit so that I do not gratify the desires of my flesh. Help me to bear the fruit of the Spirit in my daily interactions so that I might reflect your love and grace to those around me. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, I will live by the power of the Holy Spirit.